Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today we're gonna specifically talk about the command for offset surface and talk about what you should use and not use and how to fix the surface if they come into the problem. Are you ready? Let's get started. When we are using the offset surface command, we often to have some issue. For example, you have this, um, it's kind of intersect the surface inside. And if you offset outside and you will get the, the point there. So today I would like to see how we can solve this issue. So that's starting from the scratch. So I'm going to draw a curve, simple curve, something like this. And, and I'm going to moving this point to the zero. It's just my working habit and that will be easier for me to do any of the um, transform. And I may want to make it puffier. All right, so the way to make in the surface, we are going to use the command called revolve. And we're going to select this one. And then uh, the revolve axis is going here to here and we're going through 360 degrees so we get something like this. As you can see my perspective, uh, this surface coming into the point. So when we are using the offset into the surface uh, and anything coming into the point, we're always running into the problem. Let me show you. The first, we're going to offset the surface, like pick up this surface. And let's say we want to offset inside. So you can flip O on top this command bar. Then you can bring O of this uh, arrow coming into the center. Let's say the distance that we wanted to be 5 in this case. And then once you hit enter, um, you're going to have some sort of um, surface and it crawls on the top and it doesn't look too good, right? So what if I offset outside? So we're going to do offset surface one more time for offset surface command. And we are going to do uh, offset flip it here. Oh, it's already outside. You can flip it inside or outside. And we're going to do the same distance. And you're going to see that it coming into the hole there. All right, so when you have a form and it coming into uh, the point right there, I usually don't use an off sur offset surface. So let me show you what I will do. Um, I will actually, if we want to offset whether inside or outside, I will rather to dealing with the curve. So we are going to offset curve uh, command and we can offset the same distance for five and I'm going to offset inside like this okay then i will draw a straight line coming in this way and using that straight line to trim all the extra that exists uh the um, turning point that we are going to use as an axis, right? I can actually close this one on the bottom by just using a straight line. Again, you got the polyline and the, you connect the endpoint to the endpoint and we want to use the join command to join them together. All right, so next one, we're going to use the same command under the surface. You got revolve and you're going to pick up this one and you can revolve. 360 degree and you will get this one so it will be perfect you will get your point you will get the good distance and it can be solid the other situation i have a lot of students ask me is this type of a surface we have a degree one curve and this is a degree two curve and to creating the surface that we got uh, to use the loft command we're gonna loft from this one to this one. All right, and then we're gonna hit enter. Now, when we have this uh, surface, you're going to notice that you have a lot of the dark line right there. And those dark line is indicate there is a seam. And whenever you have a seam, you always need to watch out when you offset, there might be some breaking point right there. All right, so let's take a look on this one. If we offset this guy, so we're going to offset surface and we want to offset it outside. On the top, you do have the option right here. So let's say we want a solid equal yes. We want a corner to be round and we want to offset outside. You're going to notice that now I have this one. It look all right. And if you look at the property, it's an open poly surface. 
right? And it's supposed to be solid. And let's take a look on why. If we coming into the analyze and you have the H tool, then you have the command called show H. And when you click on the show H, it will showing you certain part on this is broken, right? right at that point, right at that surface, right at that line, right? Then you will say, okay, what about if I offset inside, will that solve the problem? Let's try it. If we coming over here, we want to offset surface. We want to flip it inside, and then we want to hit enter. Then we'll get something like this. Notice that it's even worse because you have kind of having the surface jamming into each other, right? And then so it's not gonna work, right? It's worse than the first one. And what about if you say, okay, then I'm going to offset surface again, and I want to keep a good uh, sharp point. So that's offset the surface. We're gonna pick up this one. And instead of a round corner, I'm going to pick up the sharp corner. So I want to maintain the sharp corner. I want to keep it solid equal yes, and we want to go outside. So let's go click on this one. Okay, so it looked better that we have a sharp edges right there, and we want to make sure that this one is closed solid polished surface. Okay, because that sharp corner is going to change for it to break when you have something round and coming into the point, right? Another thing that you probably will notice the top, it seems not flat, right? And when you offset, this is not something that you wanted to get because you want to have a sharp edges and then you also want it to be flat. So I'm going to do it one more time. Let's go back. And we're going to use the same command. We're going to use the offset surface and we want to offset outside and we want to keep it sharp. The only things I would like to do is, um, to change the solid equal no on the top, and then we'll get something like this. One thing we want to pay attention on the side view or the front view, you're going to notice that the top and the bottom is not completely flat, right? And the reason it's not completely flat is caused by the offset surface, right? But if you like it to be flat, you can simply just creating a rectangle for whatever size that you want and you trim them off and then you can close top and the bottom. But I would like to close this way because it causes more problem to close uh, this way. So if we want to close the top and the bottom, I'm going to use the blend surface command and we want to make sure chain edge is on, right? So I want to make sure this one is select and then this one is a select. But Keep in mind that whenever you have something happen like this, you make sure you have chain age is equal, yes, but it doesn't auto chain for you. It's always a sign. It might be some problem over there. So just need to pay attention. It may or may not, and depends on the ages, right? Okay, so let's say we want to click OK and we want to join all of them. And then we're going to run the um, analyze and we're going to go to the edge tool and we want to show edge. And under this show edge, you say this 20 naked edges, but it all happened on the bottom. All right. So now I'm going to close the bottom. Now, and because they are straight line, you can use the uh, loft command to make it happen. But I would like to use the blend surface one more time. Uh, you do want to chain edge this time, but when you try to chain age, it seems it doesn't chain it automatically for you. And that causes the problem. Like this, if you select that sum of them, doesn't even let you select, right? So something wrong with that. If it happened to your case, um, you want to chain age equal, yes. Right here, the chain continuity, uh, we want to change to position because this is a degree one curve. So we want to use the position, right? If I click on that, now it will auto chain because it will select all the degree one curve and you will select that as well. And then we will have something like that. Now, notice that this is like a really weird bump over there. So I want to change to position. So make sure it's flat from one point to the other point. And I want to click OK. Then when I join all of them, and then I want to run the analyze edge tool show edge. And that will say this is uh, no negative edges. And this will be a good form to print it out. Right. Ideally, what I like to do is get rid of all the point and trim top and the bottom, make sure it's nice and uh, flat before I blend the surface. I hope that answers your questions about the offset surface. And if you like the way I model 
Highly recommend that you join the membership program. There will be a lot more tricks and tips for Rhino 3D model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.